a zygote, containing the complete set of genetic material necessary to create a new life. Through a remarkable process called mitosis, the zygote undergoes multiple divisions, forming a cluster of cells known as a blastocyst, and travels down the fallopian tube towards uterus. In the second week after fertilization blastocyst implants itself into the uterine lining in a process called implantation. And blastocyst will turn into embryo. Here, it begins to receive nourishment from the mother's body and continues to grow and develop. Over the next few weeks, the embryo undergoes rapid development, transforming from a cluster of cells into a recognizable human form. This is called embryonic stage. During the embryonic stage, which spans from week 3 to week 8, the blastocyst transforms into a complex structure with three primary layers, the ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm, which give rise to all the organs and tissues of the developing baby. Over the subsequent weeks, these layers give rise to the foundation of the baby's body, neural tube begins to form in this embryonic stage, eventually brain and spinal cord, nervous system, and cardiovascular system, will also begin to develop in this stage. Limbs are also started to form in this stage. By the end of the embryonic stage, around 8th week, the embryo officially transitions into the fetal stage, which spans from week 8 to week 13. From this point onward, the focus shifts to growth and refinement of existing structures as the fetus continues to develop recognizable facial features, fingers, toes, and a rapidly expanding brain. The fetal skeleton continues to develop, with bones becoming more defined as cartilage transforms into bone tissue, providing support and structure. The fetus's senses continue to develop, with the ability to sense light filtering through the womb. Facial expressions may also begin to emerge. During the second trimester, from week 14 to week 27, the fetus experiences a period of rapid growth and maturation. Organs mature, muscles strengthen, and the fetus becomes more mobile, responding to touch, sound, and light. The fetus may be able to hear sounds from the outside world, such as the mother's heartbeat or voice. The fetal skeleton continues to develop, with bones becoming more defined as cartilage transforms A protective into bone substance tissue, called vernix begins to structure. form on the fetus's skin. The fetus's senses vernix helps to, to protect the fetus's the delicate skin from the amniotic fluid the and prepares it for life Facial outside the womb. May also begin to the emerge. fetus's lungs continue to mature, the second with increasing production of surfactant to support to breathing after birth. The fetus experiences the respiratory a system is preparing for the trend. More mobile, In the third trimester, touch, from week sound, 28 and until light. birth, the fetus the undergoes fetus final preparations for life the outside the womb. World, such as the mother's the baby settles into position for birth, and the mother develop. may experience Braxton Hicks contractions as her body prepares for labor. Substance called as the third trimester begins, the fetus, skin. The fetus experiences a period of continued rapid growth and development. From the amniotic fluid Organs and mature further, life muscles strengthen, and, and the fetus begins to settle into position for birth. To mature. The With By this stage, most of the fetuses will settle into a head-down position in preparation for birth. Is preparing for the this positioning helps to facilitate a smoother delivery process. Until birth, the fetus the fetus's lungs are nearly fully developed, with world, surfactant production the reaching the optimal levels to support breathing. And the mother the fetus practices breathing movements, inhaling and exhaling amniotic fluid to help strengthen the, the respiratory muscles. The fetus and finally, the, the moment arrives, the miracle of childbirth. Organs mature childbirth typically begins with the onset of early labor, which can last for several hours or even days. By this stage, during this stage, the cervix begins to dilate in a face in preparation for the baby's descent through the birth canal. Helps to facilitate With each contraction, the mother brings her baby one step closer to meeting the world. The transition phase marks the final stretch of labor, where the cervix fully dilates to 10 centimeters. Breathing movements. With one final push, the baby emerges into the world, greeted by the loving arms of the mother and the cheers of the medical team. Once your baby is born, 
child and the cord stops pulsating. It's time for the cord to be cut. Doctor will gently clamp the cord in two places, usually about four to six inches away from your baby's belly. Then cut the cord between the two clamps, creating a clean and safe separation. In the immediate postpartum period, the medical team attends and assists with the delivery of placenta. And so, from the moment of fertilization to the miracle of childbirth, the journey of human reproduction is a testament to the wonder of life itself. The baby emerges into the world, greeted by the loving arms of the mother and the cheers of the medical team. Once your baby is born and the cord stops pulsating, it's time for the cord to be cut. Doctor will gently clamp the cord in two places, usually about four to six inches away from your baby's belly. Then cut the cord between the two clamps, creating a clean and safe separation. In the immediate postpartum period, the medical team attends and assists with the delivery of placenta. The and so, from the moment of fertilization to the miracle of childbirth, the journey of human reproduction is a testament to the wonder of life itself. The baby emerges into the world, greeted by the loving arms of the mother and the cheers of the medical team. Once your baby is born and the cord stops pulsating, it's time for the cord to be cut. Doctor will gently clamp the cord in two places, usually about four to six inches away from your baby's belly. Then cut the cord between the two clamps, creating a clean and safe separation. In the immediate postpartum period, the medical team attends and assists with the delivery of placenta. And so, from the moment of fertilization to the miracle of childbirth, the journey of human reproduction is a testament to the wonder of life itself. The baby emerges into the world, greeted by the loving arms of the mother and the cheers of the medical team. Once your baby is born and the cord stops pulsating, it's time for the cord to be cut. Doctor will gently clamp the cord in two places, usually about four to six inches away from your baby's belly. Then cut the cord between the two clamps. From the moment of fertilization to the miracle of childbirth, the journey of human reproduction is a testament to the wonder of life itself. Malabar Gold and Diamonds Gemstone Festival Collection. Nice. Once your baby is born, the Malabar Design and Fair Price Assurance is a gemstone and buyback guarantee. Now, you can tell me what you're talking about. Huh? I'm going to tell you what you're talking about. Huh? I'm going to tell you what you're talking about. Malabar Gemstone Jewelry Festival of Precious and Uncut Jewelry. Now get flat 25% off on making charges of gemstone, uncut and polky jewelry. Malabar Gemstone Jewelry Festival of Precious and Uncut Jewelry. Now get flat 25% off on making charges. Charges of gemstone, uncut and polky jewelry. Malabar gemstone jewelry festival of precious and uncut jewelry. Now get flat twenty five percent off on making charges of gemstone, uncut and polky jewelry. Malabar gemstone jewelry festival of precious and uncut jewelry. Now get flat twenty five percent off on making charges of gemstone, uncut and polky jewelry. Malabar Gemstone Jewelry Festival of Precious and Uncut Jewelry. Now get flat 25% off on making charges of 